Hello again. So I was just told by a student that they're actually kind of preferring these capsule versions of the lectures. And so that's enough for me to know if there's one student that likes it, chances are there'll be more than one. And then honestly, even if it was just one student a semester that found the capsule videos useful, it would still be worth it to me. So <clears throat> we are now on to the conclusion portion of these capsule videos. And so I'll just give you a broad overview. So just as a reminder, the introduction's function, big picture, is to tell the audience what you're going to tell them. The body is where you actually tell them. And then the conclusion is where you remind them, you tell them what you told them. So in there, there are going to be three main parts to a conclusion in pretty much any speech, four main parts to a conclusion if you're delivering a persuasive speech. Those parts are gonna be the summary where you simply restate the labels of the main points. There will be the um, tie back to the open, which I used to call the close with impact. So if you've watched these lectures online, um, you will see maybe that it's called uh, close with impact. And just recently I heard another faculty member use the language tie back to the open. And I like that much better. I think it's just very descriptive and it tells you what it does, which is goes back to the open with impact. There's a call to action if the speech is for a persuasive speech. And then there's the memorable line. So remember, it's a memorable line, not a memorable paragraph. So the three main parts always summary, tie back to the open and memorable line. If it's a persuade, you also put that call to action which generally happens after the tie back. Okay, I hope that helps. That's the overview. The upcoming speeches will give you much more detail in each one of those parts.